down and that's only usually about five six minute flight and that's with a wee bit lift and I've got about 10 11 minutes left and we'll do a wee clip of the launch and then I'll edit that in with the actual flight. back in. Yeah, definitely not a day for anybody to try to thermal fly but I suppose paramotoring you can do. You have some fun. Well, it's a bit grey and misty. And car icing could be a problem if you go high enough. It's warm enough for the ice to form actually but the car is really cold. It tends not to be a problem. Anyway, run through all the checks. Do all the cheats. I'll do that to, to camera. And in down so hopefully should be reasonably aligned hopefully I'll be in there showing the cheat for lower time pilots but once they're getting more experience and they want to do the reverse clip in but from a normal check of the glider as two separate sides okay so you check clean A's all the rest of it flat lay it down with the A's outwards in a neat Y so if the glider pulls the risers, and, well the lines in the risers, you can see any distortion. Make sure there's no lines close to where you clip in. You want everything over there so it's not going to pass through. Check the other side. Unusual thing about left, right, all the rest of it, the wrong question, all the stuff the students do. Okay. So, then take both A risers as they would be, having been checked, A's at the top. 
and you've got the two separate sides and you turn round the way that is appropriate and we'll cover this with left-handed and right-handed students different ways, different situations you duck round and that way it's guaranteed they're on the correct side then you clip in and again it's not left, not right it's all the stuff that we teach as to which way to do that for any individual pilot running your checks including every 30 seconds airspace your harness, your helmet, all that stuff Tactile check, visual check, then the audio. Tactile check, visual check, run your eye around the whole lot, and audio. Safety anisers, launch mode if it's at all windy. Test the air. Remembering, check your airspace. When you're ready, transfer the brakes only to make sure the wing tips are down, the centre of the wing is higher. You check the airspace. Flight, rock, settle. And easing under the wing. And slow turn. Backtrack up to the top. So waiting. Tiptoeing up. Easing off the brakes. If you need a wee nod on the glider, just nodding it back and then letting it come forward gives you that cleaner launch. So waiting. It's still hanging back a wee bit. Wait, wait, wait. Nodding forward. And a slow, smooth and into launch. Right, pick up the camera and releasing brakes and let it settle gently and onto safety risers. Shutting down and then restart. Okay, with only four minutes left, I'm going to split this into a couple of different clips. So the first bit is from just next to the trig point, easing off any brakes slow, tiptoe, 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 and launching! There, that's not unusual. Camera hopefully will last until landing. Wait, 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 skim and tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Ease, ease off, settle back, and the wing just drops to the ground. So keep the speed on, keep the speed on, keep the speed on. Tiny, tiny, slow progressive, so there's no zoom climb, no steps needed, you just stop. Great, simple physics. So one of the key things for paraglider pilots to learn worldwide, but in the UK in particular, is it would be very, very simple if they're willing to admit to the mistakes for organisations like the BHPA to cut their accident rate by at least 
and without too much extra effort they could cut it 70, 80, even 95 percent. But you've got to correct the errors that are instruction. If your instruction is incompetent you will have a high accident injury and death rate. Over 20 years, almost no change in it, despite fast improvements in equipment. So, thank you for up. Yes.